Bring the beat back. Bring the beat back. Bring it back. Bring the beat back. Bring the beat back. Bring it back. Bring, 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 bring the beat back. Bring the beat back. Bring it back. Alright guys, so now that you've heard that, let's get started on building this dark vocal. The first thing you want to do is go into the description below and download the pack that I have there, which includes the short vocal that we'll be using for this tutorial. Once you have that, go ahead and extract that folder to your desktop or anywhere you please, as long as you can access it from within FL Studio. And the first thing you're going to want to do is just go into that particular folder and bring out the Yano Bring the Beat Back vocal. Bring the beat back, bring the beat back, bring it back. Which sounds incredibly boring and dry to start, but that's okay. And the next thing we do is bring down our speed to 125 BPM. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is add this to a mixer channel. And we're going to go ahead and highlight the particular clip here. Open up our mixer, go to whatever insert we please. Control L or Command L on a Mac to link it to that particular channel and we'll just close that out. The next thing we'll do is we'll zoom right in on this clip and we're just going to line up this first word which we can see right here. You can scroll in on these areas to make it bigger and this is the first part of this particular tutorial. So we start with the first word right on this solid thick line. We're going to go with the number two and if we put our marker on there we can play this back. Bring the beat back, bring the beat back, bring it back. And right now it kind of sounds pretty lame, but we're going to change that. The first thing we need to do is actually cut this vocal up to make it sound sort of stuttery and short in some way. First thing we do is we're just going to cut everything off at the start. Now if left click will do just a cut, whereas a right click will cut the smallest amount off that clip off. Um, so everything to the left is cut away because there's a shorter area of the clip left rather than the other side. Same thing if I do it here, it'll do that on that end too. So now we have a complete two bars to work with. So if we zoom in on each of the words, if we press the Alt key, we can now make a finite selection between um, each of the areas. And basically what we're going to do is cut each of these clips as close as we possibly can to make basically make it sort of stuttery. So first thing is we're going to do this. So let's just do that for the first four words. And we're going to make a cut for everything that we come through here as well. And we're also going to cut this. We're going to cut out that, cut out this, cut out that. And then we're also going to zoom out a little bit. And you can see this is the last part of the vocal. Back, bring it back as we're going to cut all the way out of here because this, the first lyrics actually repeat themselves so we don't need to cut them twice, so we can just copy and paste. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that also. So if we zoom back out, we can now highlight pressing control. We can drag a group over to highlight these four and just make sure you have the pencil option. Press down the shift button, click and then drag it to the right and we're going to place the first of those dragged words on the uh, three quarter beat right at the end here. So then we should have it sounding like this. Bring the beat back, bring the beat back, bring it back. Now we also have to do the same cutting to this end vocal as well. And we're also gonna line it up to make it fit uh, on the lines here too. So we'll keep it perfectly on line. If you wanna drag with smaller increments rather than it jumping, just press the Alt key after you've clicked and started to drag, and then you can move it in a small selection. And let's go ahead and cut these as we would, just like they did with the other ones. Give me a second here. Okay, so now we're going to go through and line up and trim anything that we think might not be so good. Um, so we have a little listen and see what we want to move and change. 
Before we do that, double click on your audio clip here, and we want to change this de-clicking mode to tran transient with bleeding. Generic will give you a quick fade on each side, but we want the words to hit instantly. So we're going to use transient bleeding, which will bleed only on the out of that particular clip. So if we play that back now, bring the beat back, bring the beat back, bring it back. It's already slowly starting to come together, but now we really want to line up these words. we we'll zoom in, and basically each beat has to sort of close and finish off, sort of start on each of the solid lines. So these are working out pretty much perfect. So we just scroll through. You can see there's a little bit of empty space at the start here. So we're going to do the same here. And then also for this word, same thing. We're going to trim all the way to the edge, and we'll probably shorten this word a little bit. We don't want it to be more than uh, 1 16th, I think, or 1 8th. So we'll do the same again here, and trim this one a little bit. We're just doing this so we can create that sort of short, stuttery type of sound that we're going for. Uh, we have to do the same here as well. Um, we'll shorten that one slightly too. I think we did also do that with the other one. No, let's shorten that a little bit too. And that one's okay. Next one, that looks fine. You can see here there's a little bit of a gap, so we're going to move that also. And we'll shorten this slightly too. Uh, there's a little bit of a gap on this one, not too much. We'll shorten this one a little bit as well. That's, I think that's okay to go with on there. And the final word is a little bit, it's a bit of a chopping as well. And we'll shorten that slightly too. So if we play this back now, I'm going to highlight these two bars. Bring the beat back, bring the beat back, bring it back. I think we're just going to lengthen these ones because they do say back. So we'll just slide it out slightly. Bring the beat back. Bring the beat back. Bring it back. Otherwise it just sounds like I'm going like bar like I'm a sheep or something. So <laughs> let's try that again. Bring the beat back. Bring the beat back. Bring it back. Cool. So the next thing we need to do is actually export this as an audio clip so we have it in a raw form. We don't have to have all the chopped versions. And there's two ways to do that. You can either go Control R and export it to an area of your choice, which is what I'm gonna do. Um, otherwise, you can put an Edison on the channel, record it, and, and uh, send it in. So that's two ways to do it. So Control R will be able to send it into a certain folder, um, which I quite like to do because then I can control where my files are being sent. So I'm just gonna call it, bring the beat back. I'm gonna put fixed. Save it in here. When it's done, just find that location in which you saved it to, and it'll be in there. Bring the beat back. Bring the beat back. Bring it back. And what I like to do after that is just wipe out that first one. We're going to go ahead and just, we can delete it or we can keep it. It's up to you. And now we have our cut form. Bring the beat back. Bring the beat back. Bring it back. And we'll go ahead and link that to the same channel in here. Next thing we're going to do is actually copy this. So we're going to put one right below it. We're going to hit this top corner and we're going to go make unique. So now we have two in here. Okay, and the second one itself, number two, we're going to link that to another channel. So we're going to highlight it, control L to bring that in. And we're just going to work on this first sample for starters. Um, this one will be the low end version of it. So I'll go ahead and bring up that first sample. Now this is quite important, we have to go to our mode and we have to select stretch. The reason being, I'll show you in a moment. We'll go to the range up the top here as well, and make that 12 because we want to go 12 semitones, which is a full octave. And if I don't have the mode set to stretch, this is what will happen. When I drag the pitch down, it'll get longer, and when I drag the pitch up, it'll get shorter. So you'll hear, we want to keep it on time. So if it's low, way too slow. So we go to the mode and we click stretch. So now whenever I adjust the tempo, bring the beat back. Bring the beat back. it stays within time. It doesn't move its time at all. It just adjusts the pitch. And that's really, really important, which is good. So now we have that sorted. We're going to go up into a mixer. And the first thing we're going to do is add a compressor. We'll use a fruity compressor for this one um, because you guys will all have this. And you can just use one of the level of one options, and then we're just going to work with our threshold. Okay, 
So we'll put it at about negative 22 dB, which is quite a strong threshold. We want to do this because we need to level the volume out on this one. The next step we're gonna do is we're gonna actually add in a parametric EQ2. And this is what we're gonna do here. So follow carefully. We can make this a little bit bigger. So if we go to our number one, we right click, we go type, high pass, and we right click again on the number one, go order steep eight to create a nice shelf here. Now if we listen back, I can take out the low end if I want to. We're just gonna do that a little bit. The next thing we're gonna do is boost the highs because they're really lacking in this one. So we're gonna to go to number seven, right click, and go order steep eight and just drag that into the corner so we've got a controllable top shelf and we're going to push up some heavy highs with our five six and four as well actually not just five and six so we're here at now push more and we're going to push a little bit of mid with the three as well Okay, so that's really quite loud at the moment. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna to go to a slot three. I'm gonna add in a limiter as well. So have a little look at our sound. So you can see that the volume is quite high in a lot of the other notes, but we don't want to do that. We wanna flatten this right out. So we're gonna to go to our ceiling here. I'm gonna drag it just sort of onto the median of the tips that you can see here. So if we play it again. So this is like limiting the top tips of the sound, but it's doing a little bit more than we need it to. So with the attack release and sustain, we're going to bring the attack right down to about, I'd say 0.4 milliseconds. You can see it up the top here. The release, we're going to come right down to maybe two milliseconds and the sustain will go for two milliseconds also. And we'll play that back. <laughs> So now you'll see that it's not actually affecting any of the other lower areas of the particular type of that word, but it's just flattening out the top of that sound. Now the physical properties of that sound is lower, but it still sounds like it's in the same loudness as before. The next step we're going to do is go into our slot four and we're going to add in a vocodex. This is where it gets a little bit more fun. As soon as you open the vocodex, the first thing you want to do is go to the top corner, go presets and hit backing voices. Now this is gonna be a little strange and we're gonna adjust it, but this is what it sounds like without us doing any more. So that's obviously way too much. Now this low end is quite smooth, so we don't wanna to push too much of this backing voices at all in the low end that much. And this is, imagine this like an EQ, these are all your lows, these are all your mids, these are all your highs. And this is zero dB, I guess minus 12 dB, plus 12 dB at the top. So if we bring this down, we can take out our low end. So it actually goes to minus 24, I think, or oh, way down as well, so. Okay, so I'm gonna include these presets inside the download pack as well. So if you want to load them up, you just go into here. Um, you can go browse presets and see if you can find it in there. If not, you have to go under save preset as and set, bring those files inside the download into this location here, which you can find by following back the folder trace and then uh, dropping it in there. You can find um, my presets as long as you drop them in here and I'll save them in there for you. Okay, so playing this one back now. The final thing we want to do is stereo this because I want it to be fat, wide and right in your face. So the plugin that I would usually use is called Double or Two, but that's one you'll have to download. I would recommend, highly recommend looking at that one because it gives you an awesome control over your uh, stereo dynamics. Instead, we're going to use Fruity Stereo Shaper. And the first thing we'll do is go to Presets and just use Stereoize 2 for this one. Okay, so before we had this. And now we have. Okay, so we're halfway there. Now we need to do our second vocal, which obviously still sounds normal. Bring the beat back, bring the beat back, bring it back. And we're not going to lower the octave on this one. 
this is going to be sort of like a fill in like a merge layer that goes with both of them to create it a little bit more crispy with mids and highs first thing we do is add in our eq as per usual and we're going to do pretty much the same thing that we did before uh, just not so much pushing of the highs we're going to go order steep eight type high pass and take out some of that low end bring the beat back bring the beat back bring it back bring so you can just roughly follow the values that i'm doing here this is not a perfect science so just mess around a little bit bring the beat back and then we're also going to go order steep eight on our number seven bring the beat back and push a little bit of our highs with five and six and also a bit of the mids with four and three just to create a bit more of a top shelf bring the beat back bring the beat back and the next step we're going to do is go to slot two and we're going to open up a it's called effector which you should have with your fl studio it comes with this is a really handy plugin for some of your basic uh, usage of uh, some of the effects in here you've got distortion lo-fi all that sort of stuff so what will happen is when you click on here the effects will be active but if you want them to stay active all the time just turn off the bypass selection what we're going to use is a vox now before we go into this we're going to turn this gain down because it makes it really loud so once you've selected vox turn that gain down bring the beat back and now we're going to play with this to see what kind of sound we want bring the beat back bring the beat back bring it back bring the beat back bring the beat back bring it back bring the beat back bring the beat back bring it back bring the beat back bring the beat back bring it back bring the beat back bring the beat back bring it back Bring the beat so I quite like that, which is Y41, uh, X41, basically, right in there. Bring the beat back. Bring the beat back. We're going to take our dry wet and just bring that down. So this is how much of the effect is actually being applied to the vocal. Bring the beat back. So nothing. Bring the beat back. And then bring it back. 50%. Bring the beat back. I'm going to probably put it at about 40, 50%, somewhere in there. You guys can decide what you want to do there as well. Bring the beat back. Bring the beat then we back, can bring our gain up back, a little bit too. Bring the beat back. Bring the beat back. Bring it back. Okay, next step is we're going to go to our slot three. And we're going to add in our limiter so we can level off this volume. We're going to do pretty much exactly what we did with the previous vocal. So bring let's have a listen. Back, bring the beat back. Bring it back. Bring the beat back. Bring the beat back. Bring it back. Bring the beat back. Bring the beat back. Bring it back. Bring the beat back. Bring the beat back. Bring it back. Bring the beat back. Okay, so pretty much getting there. The next step is we're going to add in that stereo shaper. Again, same thing. Stereoize two, and now we have this. Bring the beat back. Bring the beat back. Bring it back. I'm just going to bring that ceiling up a little bit, and we're going to push our gain up a little bit too. Bring the beat back. Bring the beat back. Bring it back. Now, if we put them together, this is what we have so far. Bring the beat back. Bring the beat back. Bring it back. So maybe we can bring down our dark low end vocal a little bit. Bring the beat back, bring the beat back, bring it back. And we're going to give a little bit more low end back to this top vocal. Bring the beat back, bring the beat back, bring it back. Now one small thing that I would do before moving on with this is I would add a little light, light reverb at the end of uh, the effect chain on the low end. So we're going to go to, uh, I can use one of my presets, but I'll just do this quickly with you guys. We'll bring a high cut up to say 10 kilohertz. A damp will go up to also 10 kilohertz. Again, you can see these readings at the top here. Um, our low cut will bring up to say 500 hertz, and our bass will bring down to 50%. And then we're going to bring our decay time down to maybe 0.8 of a second, and our wet can go to say 15, 16%. Bring the beat back, bring the beat back, bring it back, bring the beat. And that is basically how you make a dark vocal or how I have made a dark vocal. And you can use this to create some pretty awesome uh, dance or house tracks. Or if you want to add it as a layer for some of the rap um, bars and lyrics that do come out with some people, that does work. You can try adding these effects to some synths and stuff like that as well. But this is the basis of making a dark vocal. The most important thing I think is when you're doing your initial recording and that's without any of the effects on it which is this one bring the beat back is to try and keep your tone as low as possible if I was recording that up here like bring the beat back it 
when it was edited lower, it sounded kind of gross and not as full as I wanted to. So I kept my tone nice and low, so bring the beat back. So if you got to record some of your own or want to make something for your own house music or any of your own tracks, try recording that particular vocal in a lower tone. Or if you have a friend who can record for you, suggest that to them when they record a little piece that you'd like them to. And that's it, guys. Um, In the download pack below, you will have the FLP, which includes all of this done for you already. But hopefully you've managed to learn something along the way. And also, of course, the FLP for the little um, house track that I made for this, um, which we're not going to go over. But um, you guys can use that whatever way you want, as long as you put my name in the description or if you throw it on the title. um, You guys can use that one for your own tracks. But um, yeah, thanks for listening to this tutorial and watching. Hopefully you learned something. Please do subscribe. It makes my life so much, so much better and I can keep working for you guys. So um, thanks for tuning in and uh, catch you guys next time. Peace.